Welcome to this Accio video on the Retail Sales Forecast demo. My name is Jeff Matthews. I'm the head of enablement at Accio, and I will be walking you through this data set and a couple of features of the forecasting tools themselves. Here you can see we have our data. This data is for a global retailer. So big box store, global locations. You can see it's broken into areas. We have South America, Asia, it's North America, Europe, and the other locations on this. We track several pieces of information about each store. So number of employees, the total sales, and then breakdown of sales, as well as marketing spend. All of this provides us the information for what the total sales were, which is what we're trying to predict. However, we can also use this to predict how much electronic sales we're going to get or what marketing spend might do. In this case, we're looking at a forecast and this is set up for total sales spend as what we're trying to forecast. Back to the data. So now we've got our data, we've gotten a little bit of information about it. You can play around with graphs as you like. Uh, we can also just look at the generated data information within each of these. So this is obviously the date range, but if we go to sales, we can see the distribution, correlations, various information within these fields. And that's just by clicking up at the top of each of the columns. So marketing spend, electronics, et cetera. Uh, we can go into chat data prep. We can clean up the data if we have an interest. But for now, let's move on to the next section. So that's going to be the forecast. Forecast is a similar screen to what you would see in a normal prediction step. But in this case, we are extrapolating out over time. So what we need for that is we need a time field in order to extrapolate from. So here we have date. Uh, we can put in an optional ID field if we want to do multiple forecasts on the same set of data. And then we have what we want to predict. So here we're set to predict sales, so the total sales. And now we're also ignoring the electronic sales and home sales and clothes sales. So we're ignoring the breakdown within the sales numbers in order to just get a raw sales data number. So this has already been run. Now you can see here a couple of other features that you can go into at your leisure. They're all nicely explained in the text. But we have here our forecast summary. Our accuracy is very high on a percentage base. I always recommend taking a look at the numbers as well though, because sometimes percentage doesn't really give you that feel that you're looking for. And then we have our confidence bound and you can see it's very confident right at the beginning and then it gets less confident it goes. Interestingly, it does come back a little bit at the uh, end, which has more to do I think with seasonality of the data than anything else. But always make sure that when you are doing forecasts, you are continuing updating your data with current information so that you're able to continue to get that high confidence level and be closer to your data. All right, cool. So here we have our forecast. You can see that this is showing the dotted line. That's what's extrapolating out. And we have the data in the past. You can see some serious seasonality to the data. Clearly quarters and end of quarter have effects, but sales have been going up as a trend over time and it expects that to continue. So that's good. You can see the seasonality working here. See quarterly, we have uh, best sales in Q4, reasonably accurate for most data sets. And then it's the worst in Q1. So you can see that trend going, breaks it out monthly. And as long as you have the dates to do it, it will do this for you. And then one other thing I wanna show you is you can go in to the insights report, which is the same report that we were just looking at, but this is a shareable version of it. So if you look up here in the upper right, you can set this to public, and then you will be able to share this link with other people at your company, customers, et cetera, and give them this information without them having to go into the platform itself. Uh, this is also a powerful way to use our white labeling tool where your logo could go up in this corner uh, on enterprise uh, levels. So definitely just something to think about and a good way to share this sort of information on a forecasting demo. But that's all we've got for now. Look forward to seeing you in another video and thanks.